Hey guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. I'm Lori. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks so much for coming back. I appreciate that all of you are here today. Today is another installment of Fragrance Friday, which happens to be my favorite series that I do on my channel. Why is that, you ask? Because Lori loves to talk about fragrance. Lori is a fragrance junkie. <laughs> There's no other words for it. I love the way perfume makes me feel. I love to smell new perfumes that I've received or samples or that I'm in the store and get to sniff one for the very first time. I just love fragrance and I love the feeling that different fragrances invoke in me, you know. I love how some of them make me happy. Some make me feel like I'm wrapped in a cozy blanket. Some make me feel kind of youthful. I just like how perfume makes me feel. This, before we start out on this week's Fragrance Friday, um, for those of you who do not know, um, I know a lot of you do, um, but my dad passed away and that is why I have not been able to post any videos in the past couple of weeks. He was really sick for the last two weeks of his life. We really um, lost him fast and so uh, my time was really devoted to him and so I just needed to explain to you why there has not been videos, but I am back. I am going to make videos when I can, and I thought there is no more appropriate video to begin with than my favorite one, which is Fragrance Friday, obviously, and so here I am. I have not worn a lot of um, perfume in the past two, three weeks um, for obvious reasons. I have not worn makeup. This is the first day of a full face of makeup in forever, um, probably since my friend's wedding, to be honest with you. Um, but there is one perfume that I have worn the most during um, this these past few weeks and like I said I haven't worn a lot of perfume which if you know me is abnormal um, I'm usually wearing it 24 7 as I love my perfume but that is philosophy's amazing grace the ballet rose is actually what it is I don't know if my camera is picking that up. I don't have my glasses on, so everything is blurry to me. <laughs> so, um, I have been wearing Ballet Rose because this perfume is so soft. It is probably one of the, one of the only perfumes I own that wears so close to the skin. I have some that wear close to the skin, but not as close as Ballet Rose. It is extremely soft. In fact, it's so soft unless you, no one's going to smell you unless you invite them to, um, smell you, you know, like sniff your wrist or you give give them a hug and they smell it on your neck, things like that. So um, it really does wear very close to the skin, which has made it appropriate for this time um, in, my, in my life these past few weeks. Ballet Rose has lychee, rose, peony, woody notes, and white musk. Now for me, all I get is the rose and the peony and just an extremely small hint of the musk. I 
get no woody notes out of it. I get no lychee out of it. It is just a a sweet floral perfume. And when I say a sweet floral, I'm not talking like a fruity floral. I'm talking like the the flowers are sweeter. I think of pink roses when I wear ballet rose, and I'm not quite sure why, because the cover is more peach than pink, um, but I think of pink roses when I smell this. It has kind, that rose note is kind of bright at first, and then it mellows out into this soft, sweet, rosy floral. And that's really when I can pick up the peony, is once it starts to dry down. And that floral stays throughout the whole composition of this perfume. It stays the whole time. It never goes away. At least on me it doesn't. And, I, you know, I'm not a huge Rose fan, but I'm not a Rose hater um, by any stretch. But I like it once it starts to sweeten up, but that really bright, um, bright rose note, I'm not really hip on. Um, it just is a little too, I don't know, a little too, I want to say youthful, but I'm not meaning youthful as in young as in age young. I'm thinking more as in the beginning of the rose, you know, when they first start to form. And they're, to me, I haven't smelled, or, you know, roses like received roses. <laughs> and we, we won't even go there. But um, when they're young, they, they have a little greener they're a little greener than when they mature. And so that's kind of what I'm meaning by they're a little brighter, a more, little more youthful. I'm talking as in the flower is a little more youthful and um, a little younger flower. And so I do appreciate once it starts to sweeten up and give it a little more of a bouquet. Um, but even at that beginning where it's bright, it still wears very close to the skin, which I do appreciate. Because you know, there are times when you need a perfume that wears close to the skin, that you do not want a perfume that pronounces itself or, you know, is really loud, you need something soft. And so this has been perfect for my friend's wedding. This was perfect for my dad's funeral. Um, it really has been nice. Now, th I, I have been pleasantly surprised by the wear time on Ballet Rose. I expected because it is so, um, su such a soft fragrance, I was expecting um, its longevity to, you know, really not be there. But I find that it lasts four, four to five hours, which surprised me for it being a softer, um, a softer fragrance. Whoa, Lori, you just lost your mind. So I appreciate that it lasts long, a longer you know, longer than most close to your skin fragrances do. I really do appreciate that. Um, and I appreciate it that it keeps its floral bouquet throughout. Now on, I sh again should say on me, it keeps its floral bouquet throughout. But when I was thinking about this, I was like, well, do I like it? Do I not like it? 
and you know I kind of wish I had kind of a, a sliding scale in between the like and not like because I don't hate it but I don't like it either I appreciate that you know it wears close to the skin I appreciate that it has a good wear time and I appreciate that you know it kind of keeps that floral bouquet um, for as long as it does which is the length of the perfume on me but I'm not a fan of this it is a youthful and innocent fragrance it would be great for you know a, a younger girl to experiment with a more floral based perfume instead of the fruity um, perfumes that are geared towards the younger crowd but it also is great for um, those who are in an office setting where they need to wear um, a perfume that sits close to the skin whether you know a teacher a nurse maybe someone works in an office where they have rules on perfume this really does sit you know is really a personal perfume in that no one knows you have it on unless you let them know you have it on so for those um, people, this would be a perfect perfume for them. I'm just, yeah, I'm indifferent to it. I don't hate it. I don't like it. It's, it just is. I, I think it's appropriate for certain times, but it, it's not my cup of tea because I tend to like a little louder perfumes, but it, I can't say there's anything wrong with it either. So that is it for Fragrance Friday. I told you guys I would talk about the fragrances I loved, I hated, I liked, I disliked, and those. I don't think I ever talked about those that I'm indifferent to, but today we talked about one that I am just indifferent to, and that is Amazing Graces Ballet Rose. Yeah, if you um, have tried Ballet Rose, if you own it, if it's like one of your all-time favorites, if you don't like it, leave me a comment down below on your thoughts on Ballet Rose. I love hearing from you guys. I love having a discussion with you about the different perfumes that I talk about. And if it is one of your favorite scents, I would love to hear about it because I think this is probably a great scent for a lot of people for a lot of different reasons. And I would love to hear why you like it because that interests me it really does we all have different tastes in perfume and I can tell you in one given day I can have a boatload of different tastes you know I put on a perfume it really suits that mood for a moment and then I need to change it because it no longer suits my mood and that's the beauty of fragrance is you get to wear what you want to wear that um, tells your story for that moment. So that is it for Fragrance Friday. I am glad I am back and no better way to return than to talk about that which I love, which is fragrance. You guys... I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That would mean the world to me. Make sure you're subscribed before you leave and hit that notification bell so you're advised whenever I upload a video. And as always, oh, I just lost my breath. And as always, take good care of yourself. Be safe out there, and I will see you on the next one.